Oh, hello. I'm usually two cups of coffee in before I start filming. Today, I'm only one cup in, so everyone brace yourself. So today, we are gonna talk about my favorite products this spring. A lot of these make me think of spring, whether it is the way it smells, the way it looks, something maybe I'm reaching for a lot and loving as the weather is turning, at least where I live. We have got quite a mix. We've got some makeup and beauty. We've got some fashion items, candles, coffee, fragrance, all kinds of things. So let's get into it. I'm wearing a dress, by the way, which I don't typically wear dresses like while filming. Uh, but A, I'm running out of things to wear and B, <laughs> this is what I was gonna wear on Easter. <laughs> so today's video is sponsored by fragrance.com. I've been working with them for years. It's where I get most of my perfume and even colognes for my husband. The reason I love it so much is because they have authentic, real perfumes, colognes, but they're offered at really big discounts. And the reason they're able to do that is because they don't have the expensive costs of like brick and mortar stores. So they don't have to mark the prices up. I think that's awesome. I have gotten so many, if not most of my fragrances is from there. Another thing that Fragrance.com now has is Afterpay. So you can basically buy a product now and then pay it off over four installments. You don't accrue any interest. There's no extra cost to you. It's just a way to split it up over multiple payments if you need to do that. And of course, Mother's Day is literally next month. <laughs> It's just crazy. This year is slowly but surely flying by. But Mother's Day is next month and I feel like fragrance is always a really good Mother's Day gift. They have gift sets on there. They did give me a coupon code for you guys. I will have it listed in the description box if you're interested in checking out the perfumes, the colognes. I do wanna share with you guys a couple of my favorite scents for spring right now. And I have one that has become my like new holy grail, like kicked the top three out of the way because this is the one I'm using every day. My absolute favorite one that I cannot stop wearing is Chloe Nomad perfume. It's described as like a floral, but it's more of like a warm, sweet floral because for me, sometimes floral florals can be a little overpowering. If you're like me, this would probably be something you would like. I honestly, when I smelled it, I didn't feel like it was really floral at all. It has a little bit of freesia to it, so it's just got that sweetness, but it feels like a grown-up sweetness, and I love it. This is one that every time I've been wearing it lately, my husband is like, mm, you smell good, and I'm like, well, one of the springiest ones I have is the Kate Spade Walk on Air. Again, the packaging, are you kidding me? This is such a fresh, juicy scent, but again, it's not fresh like floral, it's fresh like lime, bergamot, neroli, jasmine, lily of the valley, so I feel like for me, this is as floral as I get. But this is another one that my husband doesn't seem to like floral, and I was wearing this the other day, and he was like, you smell so nice and springy, and I was like, thank you. My gosh, it's a very pleasant floral and I just, I really like it and the bottle is so pretty. One that, okay, fine, it's not springy. It has become one of my favorites since I have a travel size of this and now I'm excited to have like the full size is Dolce & Gabbana, mm. the only one perfume. Again, the bottle is so simple and pretty, but this is a very warm, sweet scent and it definitely makes me think more of fall and winter, but honestly, I still wear it. I travel with this scent. It's just one of my all time favorites. So this one has a base of vanilla and patchouli no wonder I love it. Middle notes of coffee and iris and then top notes of bergamot. Oh my gosh. I just, I think this is such a wonderful kind of seductive scent, but still not too overpowering. And this one lasts a long time. So the last one I'm going to mention for spring is Dior Joy perfume. This is one that is definitely different than all three. All of these are so different. This one has a little bit more musk to it. So if you are partial to musk or you like those kinds of scents, musk sounds negative, but I think you know what I mean, like literal white musk. It says it also has mandarin and sandalwood. I do feel like the white musk kind of takes over though. And that's the main thing I smell, but it does smell really, really nice. And again, the bottle is so pretty. And I think Jennifer Lawrence is like the face of this perfume, which just bonus points. So those are my top four picks for spring. I will have the coupon code and fragrance.com's website linked down below. Thank you fragrance.com for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. Let's dive into the rest of the products. So let's go into some makeup. One of these I've given very little love because it's still newer to me, but I have so been enjoying the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel. This is basically an SPF for your face. That's how I've been using it. I'll go ahead and put on like my vitamin C serum, my moisturizer, then I go on with an SPF and I've been using this one a lot lately. The reason I love it so much is because it has this kind of glowy quality to it. It's not glittery or shimmery. I don't wanna scare you off if you don't like that, but it just makes the skin look kind of glowy. So if you're someone like me that likes to use a glowy primer anyway and you're always laying on SPF, then the glowy primer, then foundation, 
This is like a glowy primer and SPF in one, and it still is SPF of 50. It's not crazily priced. It is a Japanese brand, but I know you can get it shipped. I think they even sell it on Amazon. So I will have it linked. I'm just adoring this, and I think the packaging itself is so pretty too. Ah, spring, spring, spring. Okay, this one is new to me within the past month or two, and I haven't really talked about it a lot because it's harder to get. So the brand is M Cosmetics, and that would be Michelle Fawn's newly rebuilt makeup brand, right? Am I, is that right? It's her Divine Skies mm. eyeshadow palette. The thing that makes me think about spring with this, basically, I just feel like right now I'm so into pinky peachy eyeshadows, and this completely fits the bill. The shimmers remind me of my Charlotte Tilbury ones, where they're just such a lightweight blurring shimmer, where it doesn't like emphasize texture or anything on your eyelids. It just looks like this beautiful sweep of a color. And I think that's what I love about the Charlotte Tilbury shimmer and that's what I'm loving about these. So today, so I use the lighter shade just on the brow bone and then I use my absolute favorite shade, this kind of like pinky toned one with the shimmer. And basically I just build that up on my lids and into the crease. I pretty much just put it everywhere and I think it is so foolproof and easy. And then I grabbed a little bit of this other shimmer and put it in the outer corner and felt that that wasn't enough, so I put the matte brown here. But I think it's such a good mix of like half mattes that are kind of mid-toned and then these gorgeous shimmers. For me, if you are like me and you like these kinds of colors, this palette is gorgeous. It's in such unique packaging. I love that it's a smaller palette. It feels high-end. The reason I hadn't talked about it a lot is because you do have to buy it from the M Cosmetics website. And so it's just like you had to pay for the shipping and stuff. So if they're doing like a free shipping deal or anything like that, that would be the time to pounce on it. And it just screams spring to me. Side note, I always back up in my chair. I would love to be sitting back here for each video, but I find myself within minutes, I'm like scooched right up to the camera. Like, Jessica, can you just like give people their space? I'm one of those people that is way up in people's business in real life, and I don't realize how close I am to someone until I see them kind of back away. I'm like, I'm too close to you. Like, what is wrong with me? Another makeup item I adore, newer discovery in 2020, is the Revlon, oh, what are these actually called? Revlon Super mm. Lustrous Shines. This is in the shade number 20, Nude Illuminator. This is my favorite shade. I bought two of them. This is the one I'm reaching for. I will say this, I've realized after using this now for quite a few more weeks, lip liner is your friend with these. Because they are, there is still some color to it. You don't have to wear it with lip liner, but if you're someone like me that I feel like my lip line is just like jagged, and so when I'm wearing a color, sometimes it doesn't look the way I want it to. So while I don't think you absolutely have to, if you want it to look a little more polished, Throwing on a quick lip liner works perfectly. The one I'm wearing today is MAC Dervish. MAC lip liners, I used to not like because I felt they were dry, but if you sharpen them and actually use them regularly, they're really good and they stay in place. So I'm kind of torn about them, but Dervish is my favorite lip liner color of all time for my lips. It's just this gorgeous, comfortable formula. It's moisturizing, it makes your lips look healthier. It gets a little bit of color so they look evened out and put together. And as I've mentioned, I swear to you these are a dupe or awfully close to the Revlon lip butters that have been discontinued forever. This was such an exciting find for me. I was like emotional in the weirdest of ways. I think we're all emotional about like everything right now, but I need to peel like the barcode sticker off because because generally I do think the packaging is kind of cool. Another makeup item I had to mention is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in the shade Rosy. I actually have loved this for a while, so I just recently picked it back out of my stash, and I just think that this blush is gorgeous. I'm not wearing any highlight today. Do you see how it just catches the light so beautifully because there's that little bit of sheen to this color? I just love it. It's inexpensive wherever you can find Neutrogena and it's just a pretty standalone blush, like just gorgeous. And you know, I will say I really like Milani's Luminoso, but I feel like this is a slightly more wearable version of that because sometimes that one can be a little much, like it's super glowy and it's super pigmented. This one still has pigment and glow, but it's just toned down a little bit. And I just think it is so pretty. Another favorite is like a dainty necklace. It makes me think of spring because I think about, you know, I'm not in as many like turtlenecks and stuff. So I'm really thinking about the jewelry I'm wearing. This is one of my favorite necklaces, and you know what? This is the one I get the most questions about. It's a pretty common necklace to find, but sometimes it's hard to find a necklace that catches the light the right way with something like this. It was from Nordstrom. This one I got like in a trunk club from Nordstrom, but you can still get it from Nordstrom's website, and I just love it. It was kind of more of an expensive-ish piece, 
but I literally wear it every day and I'm like, well, it's worth it and it's not turning my neck green or fading or anything like that. And so I can't recommend this necklace enough. I just adore it. So I will definitely link this exact one. Another favorite are these headbands. I'm not gonna touch on them for too long because I wear them all the time. I'm always linking them. I got a six pack where it was three of these kind of like preppy, I don't know, are they supposed to be like Gucci, like faux Gucci? I don't know what it actually is to be honest with you. And then there were these, but I love the little knot. They're obviously in style right now. So many people are wearing them, but I think they're so pretty. I got the six pack of these where there was like white, pink, and black, and then three different shades of this, but they sell so many different kinds on Amazon, you guys. So don't feel like if you don't like the preppy kind, because I feel like it is kind of polarizing, they have so many different versions of these knotted headbands. So I had to mention them. I just feel like anything kind of preppy, like headbands, makes me think of spring. Can't explain it, don't know why, but that's always how I felt. And so these, I was like, I have to mention them. This is gonna be a long video. I have a lot of favorites, y'all. Are you strapped in for real? I just ran out of this today, gosh darn it. <laughs> this Ava NYC dry shampoo, okay. I think I talked about it in one of our weekly vlogs. It might've been one of the ones over on Tyler's channel because that's where they're going now. If you've been missing our weekly vlogs, that's where they are. I did the first two here and it was just honestly just wearing me out. <laughs> um, but I do like get ready with me's within the vlog and I share about products I'm using and stuff. So they're definitely worth watching even if you're only into it for the makeup. But now they're over on his channel, which is Tyler Travels TV. Okay, shameless plug done. This Ava NYC dry mm. shampoo smells so wonderful. It smells so good. It's clean but it's almost slightly sweet but not overpowering it doesn't smell like baby powdery it is the most perfect smell i think it makes my hair feel like i just shampooed it especially when it comes to the way it smells so i love that it does a great job i used it today my hair care regimen is pretty simple i wash it and then go one day without washing it and then i wash it again i just i have to it gets so oily but the second day i always use dry shampoo and this is what i've been reaching for and i love it i'm kicking myself though I wanted to buy, I knew I was running low, so I was like, well, I wanna buy a different dry shampoo and try something different so I know about more that are out there. And I'm kicking myself for not repurchasing this. I bought, I don't even know what brand, um, and I haven't used it yet, but I, I should have just bought this. So this is something I'm definitely repurchasing. It is so wonderful. It does leave a slight white cast, but again, like for me, I'll spray it in and let it sit for a minute or two while I'm picking out my outfit, and then I'll rub it in with my fingers and the white cast is gone. And I have pretty darn dark hair. So. Continuing on. The Shea Moisture Velvet Skin Body Wash. I'm about a third of the way through this. This smells incredible. You'll notice a lot of these, I'm all about the smells, but this is such a delicate smell. Y'all know I love the Shea Moisture brand. They're a more natural brand. They focus on a lot of fair trade ingredients, which I think is really, really cool. And this is one, honestly, we just ran out of body wash and we needed one and I had it in my stash they'd sent in PR. The first time I used it, I was like, I feel like I'm at a spa. <laughs> This body wash is so nice. My skin doesn't feel irritated or anything like that. It just delicately smells nice and it lathers well. I just really, really like this. The only thing is I have like my shaving oil near this. I think it made like the rest of this kind of wear off. I'm not really sure honestly what happened, but I adore this body wash. Next spring favorite is from Origins. These are their souffle whipped body creams. Okay, so I've done some research on these. I've had these a while and I finally opened this one. This is their ginger souffle. I'm pretty sure this is like a bestseller across the board. Like people freaking love it. See, I scooted up again. Look at me. Okay. Can you hear me? People freaking swear by this. So I just opened it not really knowing that so many people love it and started using it. And the thing that's so amazing about this is that it is incredibly moisturizing. It feels so good to put on your skin. You know, there are like plenty of lotions out there that as you're putting it on, you're like, is this really doing anything? It's not really enjoyable to apply. Like this one is all, of, it is enjoyable to apply. It feels like it's doing something. But on top of that, when you're putting it on, it melts into the skin so quickly. It is so moisturizing. You guys, I have loved this. I wish they sold ones that didn't have scents. They have ginger one and there's like one more. I'm gonna use that one next. And I think it might be minty. But I'm like, can they just have one that's unscented because the formula of this is so beautiful. But as I've used this more, I didn't mind the ginger smell, but it's definitely, definitely overpowering. Like the entire bathroom smells like this when I use it for like 10 minutes. So if you are sensitive to scent, I would say far, far away from the ginger one. The peppermint one might be a little bit less, but I really, really like it. Once I go through this and that one, I'm going to buy it again because I've never had a body cream that performed this way. The closest one would be the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, and I do love that. 
that I love and it blends in very similarly and it has just a very different kind of tropical smell. Another spring favorite are candles. Okay, I know that's so basic, but I wanna share with you some of my favorite scents. So I recently have gotten back into Yankee candles. You know, I've gone through so many phases and the reality is when we can all go back into stores and pick out candles, I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and buy a bunch of candles because they're beautifully discounted. Some of my favorites, DW Home makes some of the best candles. But, and they'll have like the Simply Home by Yankee Candle, but sometimes you just can't beat classic Yankee Candle scents. And they've had the same ones for so many years. So the one I have burning back there is probably my favorite spring scent. It's called Lavender Vanilla. And every time I light it each weekday in here, I'm just like, it's such a light scent. It smells so nice. It's kind of lavendery, kind of vanilla, but it's not too much of either. And I think that's why I like it so much. And the scent throws in these are amazing. These giant jars last forever. This other one that both Tyler and I absolutely love is Clean Cotton. This is one, a brand new one. We're gonna be lighting downstairs. But we've had a lot of Clean Cotton ones over the years. And this is probably the best cotton candle I've ever smelled. And listen, let me set the scene for you. Imagine, it's spring, the windows are open, the curtains are blowing in the wind, there's a nice breeze, your whole house is getting aired out, the dishwasher's running, your dishes are getting clean, you got laundry running, you have this candle burning in the middle of your kitchen or in your living room or wherever, and you can kind of smell that clean cotton scent as the breeze is wafting through your home. Yes, that, all of that, is an experience in a candle. We actually got ours from Bed Bath & Beyond and we use like the 20% off coupon and all that stuff. So you can definitely get discounts. Okay, another spring favorite. Iced coffee. Does anyone like kind of only drink iced coffee in the warmer months? Like I'll still drink it from time to time in the winter and I did this winter too. But I just find that in the warmer months, it's way more enjoyable. It makes sense, right? It's iced, it's cold, if it's hot out. So spring is usually when I start getting like serious again about iced coffee or cold brew coffee. So some of my favorites I'm gonna put on the screen cause I didn't wanna like get them out of my fridge and get them all warm and weird. But the Stoke coffees, like the cold brew ones are so, so good. Now, yes, you can make iced coffee at home. I do that all the time. A lot of people ask me like, how do you make iced coffee at home? Like what are, what special pods are you using? I'm like, no, no, I am literally just getting a heat resistant cup and putting a bunch of ice in it and brewing a regular cup of coffee into it. And then I'll add creamer if I want. That's all I'm doing. It's nothing special. Cause if you're in a pinch or you just want some iced coffee, that's the easiest way to do it. It's literally coffee on ice. Obviously there are a million other things you can get. And I know they do sell specific iced coffee pods. I've used some recently and they're pretty good. Regardless, sometimes it's just easier to have a container with iced coffee in it, okay? And so the Stoke ones, one of my absolute favorite brands, that was a discovery last year of mine. And then I also like the Starbucks ones. Their blonde roast, just like iced coffee, it's not, I don't think it's cold brew, but just iced coffee, is delicious, delicious. Now, I don't mind black coffee. Obviously, these, the ones I'm talking about are black ones. You can get flavored ones, of course, too, but, or you could just use your own creamer at home to mix into those, but I just, it's such a spring thing to me to like be out in the yard to like have iced coffee. I don't know. This just put me in such a good mood. If you're in a weird mood right now, I want you to take a second, especially if it's spring where you live, and write down a list of things that make you think about spring or things that right now make you happy. And I think as you just kind of list it out and dwell on them for a second, it just kind of puts you in a good mood. Now, we all know what's going on right now and everyone's situation is so vastly different, but we can all agree that there are still certain things in our life that do make us happy. So think about things you already have, things that every year make you think of spring. Maybe it's just like for me, okay, this is very specific, but Tyler and I realize we both agree on this when the windows are open and we can hear someone in the distance, not like right there, cause it's a little loud, but someone a few houses down that we can hear like mowing the lawn. There's something so, like it makes me think of my childhood and like spring and it kind of goes back to the breezes in the windows. <laughs> But it just makes me so happy. And I know he agrees, he feels the same way. So I have a feeling a lot of us agree that lawnmowers in the distance, wonderful sound to hear. I can't explain it. Anyway, I love you all so much. I hope this video brought you some joy today. What is the weather like where you are? Is it kind of springy and rainy? Is it sunny? Maybe you live in Florida and it's just been hot this whole time. Or maybe you live even closer to the equator. Maybe it's turning into fall for you. <laughs> I don't know. We all live in such different places and it's so it's so wild to think about. Thank you Fragrance.com again for continually supporting my channel. I love working with you and this is a site I genuinely use and love. So I hope you guys will use and love it as well. And like I said, the coupon code to save some more money on top of their already awesome discounts on perfume and cologne is down below. Again, 
Mother's Day's coming up, just saying. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It helps me so much, and of course, it helps you find my videos a little bit easier, and I'd love to say hi to you on my social media. It is at It's Jessica Braun everywhere, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.